Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Matilda Mossman Show. I'm Bruce Howard, joined by the head women's basketball coach at the University of Tulsa, Matilda Mossman. Coach, you had two games, one at home and one on the road. Arguable to say probably your best performance was on the road, wasn't it? It definitely was. Uh, we, we, when we started our season, I think right now in our conference standings, there are five teams that are heads and shoulders above everybody else as far as winning percentage. And we played all five of those teams in our first five games. And then now we're in that stretch where we played the five teams again. Right. So we're one of the few teams in the conference that has played the top five teams twice. And so that's 10 of our losses because we didn't win any of those, even though we played people close. Um, against Temple, um, we just got off to a horrible start, shot, uh, I think, 19% in the first quarter. Uh, they shot 60% in the first quarter. Uh, they were killing us inside. Uh, but then we played even with them in the second half. Uh, we each scored 26 points in the second half. So we felt good about that. But it was kind of a typical game for us. Uh, we score 46 points. We shoot 29%. That's pretty typical. But the, the downfall was our defense had been so solid uh, throughout the season, and it just wasn't very solid against Temple. And, um, but then we corrected that, went to Central Florida, had a great game against them, uh, low-scoring game by both teams. But, but Central Florida doesn't score a lot of uh, points either. Uh, shot it better, defended really, really well. Uh, just, just couldn't, couldn't, uh, couldn't keep their bigs off the boards enough, and then they got a bunch of points off offensive rebounds that we just, because of our lack of size, we couldn't do anything about. Yeah, and then you talk about bad matchups. I think Temple is a bad matchup for you. Uh, you know, obviously okay. Mia Davis with her double double, and Alexa Williamson with her double double. Uh, it's just hard when when they have two talented bigs, yeah. right? And when Williamson hurt us both games, she hurt us up at their place. She hurt us here. Uh, she, she's just a lot to deal with because of her length, her athleticism. Uh, she finishes extremely well around the basket. And with her and Mia, it gives them a really good one-two punch. And so many defenses uh, try, to, try to capitalize on Mia and keeping the ball out of her hands. And then that puts Williamson wide open, and, and uh, she does what she's supposed to do. Yeah, Jaysha Clinton, a really good uh, young player for them, also hit double figures. Uh, Maddie Biddle got double figures for you, but that was about it. And again, the shooting walls, right? Yeah, it just, I mean, sometimes you just, uh, you get good shots, they just won't fall. And, and we've talked before about how that can be a domino effect. It's, it's contagious. Uh, you make shots. There's a, there's a, uh, you know, there's this thing about everybody's making shots. And then, you miss some shots early, and then everybody misses. But we just got off to a bad start. We just didn't hit shots early in that first quarter, and then that, that kind of dictated the rest of the game. But then in the UCF game, you, you start off very strongly. You outscore them 12-7. Obviously, you're playing pretty good defense that first quarter. Yeah, we felt like, uh, you know, it's just a different matchup for us. Um, they play a 3-2 zone. It's a matchup 3-2. You know what you're going to get. Your point guard doesn't have to make any decisions. She knows every time down the floor you can run A, B, C, D. They're not going to switch defenses on you. They might pick up, you know, in a three-quarter court sometimes. but And they did that a few times, but we handled it really well. Uh, but then, uh, you know, when we're on the defensive end, uh, we ended up playing a lot of zone against uh, Central Florida, and that, that's our best way to kind of take away their bigs inside but it's really hard to block out from, from, a, from a defensive standpoint. Yeah, and you, you shot the ball, obviously. Uh, one of your better shooting nights of the year uh, in the upper 40s, and if you can do that as well as you play defensively, you've got a shot, right? Yeah, I mean, you look at the, the stats, and we, we shot it well. Uh, the difference is we had two points at the free throw line. They had seven. You know, it ends up being a two-point game, and, you know, there's five five-point difference just, just at the free throw line. One of the things that you mentioned before the Temple game was that uh, people had adjusted off of Wyvette Mayberry, who is your, your really good freshman guard, that they start running people at her to get the ball out of her hands. How do you adjust off of that? Well, people, are, people uh, on either side of the ball, they have to come up so that Wyvette can see them, can, can get the ball to them. And sometimes uh, when Wyvette gets in trouble, we have a tendency to stay too low and stand and watch and wait for her to create some kind of magic, which sometimes she does. But uh, we, we've done a better job more recently of coming back to the ball because once we get it out of that trap, 
we can reverse it and you know we can get some inside looks. Yeah and certainly those those two young ladies the Mayberry sisters did a nice job for you 17 and 15 held you in the game you got a, a decent look at the end of the game I knew you had a shot near the buzzer. Yeah we we, uh, we had a potential shot to tie the game and uh, you know with time running down I think we took it out with seven seconds and even in the timeout we talked to why that I mean that's who we wanted to get the ball to we set a couple screens for her trying to get something going to the rim and she ended up you know with a you know semi difficult shot from about uh, 12 feet uh, but she's got Brittany Smith 6-3 coming at her um, but we did a great job in the execution of it and and why did a good job of keeping that time in her head and knowing to get it off in time and frustrating to, to have another loss but you have to be heartened with the effort that the young ladies put out huh? definitely definitely love the effort the fact that we're with you know two weeks to go in the season we're still competing uh, giving ourselves a chance well the golden hurricane taking on cincinnati this week uh, as tu goes down the back stretch last couple of games for uh, tu and we'll be uh, talking about those games coming up for uh, the university of tulsa women's basketball team when we continue on the matilda mossman show in a moment the American. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength. Taking risks and standing up for what's right. True blue is a 125 year legacy. Find the true you at the University of Tulsa. We're back on the Matilda Mossman Show. And, Coach, you have uh, the midweek bye, uh, and then you have Cincinnati at home coming up Saturday as part of a doubleheader starting at 1 o'clock for the ladies. The men play at 6. So uh, what do you do this week with the midweek bye trying to prep for Cincy? Well, uh, Wednesday will be a day off, just a midweek day off. Let guys get to some things solidified, uh, you know, academically. We were on the road a lot the last two weeks. So uh, then M Monday and Tuesday this week, it's more just skill work, do, you know, kind of tightening up some things, uh, some fundamental things. And then Thursday and Friday really is the prep time for uh, Cincinnati. One of your better road victories of the year certainly was the win at Cincinnati, wasn't it, earlier? Yeah, we went, went up there and, and won by five. Um, you know, shot it decently, but the big thing was we defended well. Um, and, you know, they're always going to be uh, uh, a contender just because they've got uh, the preseason co-player of the year and Amari Thomas. Uh, but they've got Milan Schimmel back now, who uh, they didn't have against our game, but they had early in the year. She's been injured. More of a true point guard for them. Uh, so they've added her to the mix. Julian Hayes continues to play really well for them. Uh, and then uh, Niang uh, really continuing to play well for them as well. So uh, that, that, that won't be an easy out for sure. And this is down the back stretch. You have uh, Wichita State coming up next Tuesday. That'll be the final game of the regular season. Kind of in this COVID year, kind of kind of a tough year to get through, but you can see kind of the light at the the end of the tunnel and it's it's not a gorilla with a flashlight I mean it's you know it's the end of the it's the end of the season you want to finish strong I'm sure yeah we've been really fortunate to be able to play as many games as we've played we've only missed the one game with Wichita and uh, since it, we don't play them again until the end of the year uh, we're not going to worry about making that one up so we'll have Wichita State next Tuesday and then uh, have a few days to get ready for the conference tournament and so what do you want to see out of your team in the last it's last week and a half because you know, who knows what can happen in the tournament when you get to the tournament setting. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's about uh, just having that mindset that every game's important, no matter what your seeding is in the tournament. The games are important. You want to win the game that's in front of you. You want to give it your best shot. And, um, I, you know, based on Saturday's effort against UCF, I think our mentality for that is good right now. All right, Coach, have a great week, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. All right, thank you, Bruce. Head Coach Matilda Mossman, University of Tulsa Women's Basketball. We'll talk to you next week on the Matilda Mossman Show.